battle yesterday. Alright, alright, yeah. here we go. Looks like they're going right into it. Yeah. So, Monkey Belly has some experience with Chaos on Spring SoCal, despite, I think, inactivity recently. Huh? I can't really hear you very well, that's sorry. Alright, that's fine. <laughs> I moved my mic up so I wouldn't say that in the mic and then I leaned in and said it to your mic by mistake. That's Anyways. pretty cool. <laughs> I go back here. So I'm not sure actually what round this is. I think it might be losers. West balls. This is losers play, losers right? round four, I think. Okay. I think we'll be updating that right now. Oh Alright, good. Up B. straight through. So, I know, I mean, I watched um, Machiavelli's, he, he had the money thon talking about, like, um, the match, you know, matchups and stuff for, for Ivysaur. Okay. And Ivysaur, like, at least the way that Machiavelli plays it, he really likes to, like, space him out. You know, a lot of down tilts, back airs, space back airs, and um, really try to, like, get the opponent to come to you. I don't know how well that will work against Frozen, or against Mewtwo, at least. Um, Mewtwo's got that Shadow Ball, he can kind of camp out as well. And then he, his teleport in is like super quick, so he can teleport in there, or, you know, like that Shadow Claw he did right there. Wow, really good re-grab. I think, I think I, I deserve to do it pretty well, like, yeah. You put a hitbox into it, either Heat Bomb or Razor Leaf. Okay. And then, oh wow. Like, he can kind of cover teleport in by, like, throwing out hitboxes where he's standing. So, like, you kind of cover two spaces at the yeah. same time, and you two wants to occupy, like, kind of indirectly occupy two spaces by, like, being, having the threat to be right. teleported. Right. Oh, wow. So, Monk's been getting a lot of up these this set. I'd like him to be able to transition that into getting solar beams because that would help yeah. him out a lot. Yeah, right now he's just been sitting on it, like holding on to it. Um, it's kind of like with Wario and Waft. It's like you don't want to hang on to it too long because then you like lose the, uh, that's an opportunity cost of like getting a second solar beam. Exactly. Ready. So he gets up beat, yeah. goes for a solar beam to finish it off, but yeah. this is I mean, I think that's fine. Even though he, even though he didn't land it, like he went for it, and he's already got like a part of a charge because he got that up air sweet spot. Yeah. Oh wow! Oh my! Oh my! The setup. That was crazy. The setup. <laughs> yeah, I was surprised he went for the uh, the down air there, but yeah, it but worked out. He knew something. So. Yeah. I'm not gonna quite do it. Yeah, so I don't know if it's a stage or what, but it hasn't felt like like Machiavelli's had to like really stay back a whole lot. Um, Frozen has been coming in like quite a bit. I think that's because like Shadow Ball is much worse than Vector Ball than Laser Leaf Steam Bomb, so like he has to come in. Otherwise he deals with the Yeah, I can, I can see that. So Mox sets up the wall there, fades in the rush pass. See, it's it's kind of like... Yeah. Goes for it all there. Yeah, Shadow Claw, real nice for being a combo breaker move. Alright, Mop takes game one. Pops off in the opposite direction by shooting a solar beam, because why not? <laughs> I think Mock got a new shirt today. Not sure. Yeah, it's not looking like the regular purple and blue we see. Yeah, look. I didn't, actually didn't know he had another shirt. Sometimes. It could just be the difference in monitors. You know, he probably w <laughs> Yeah, maybe. Probably, maybe probably it's the camera. It up. Yeah. He might have worn that shirt yesterday, One, also. Alright. Both players starting off charging a little bit. Yeah.
also, I, wow, that was that was really nice conversion, Frozen. His um like teleport in. I feel like if he abuses his, the like his ability to teleport in like right behind Machiavelli, it could be really good for him. Um, Ivy Sword like has a hard time when you're up in her face. Um, she that's why she kind of wants to keep you like at a like a right. mid range kind of kind of a um, place so that you can like pressure with the side B, the C bombs. You can do like down tilt jabs. Uh, but when you're right up in her face, it's actually like pretty difficult for her. So if Joseph can keep the pressure on, keep teleporting in, uh, crossing up, then. Could be really good. That makes sense. But like Mox's been in a very, a very good distance where like you can cover teleport. He has, him, yeah. So it's like can't really get in that well. Oh, misses it. Yeah, the, that um, that wall seems kind of difficult for Mewtwo at the ledge because Mewtwo like the double jump isn't like double jump from the ledge is like not great because it's got that kind of slow, slow animation. Right. You know, so he's probably gonna get caught by a seed bomb. Kind of forces him to have to teleport in. Uh, at which point, Mach was like at a good spot where he would kind of just cover, could cover that. Yeah, I definitely see it. Like I don't think Mewtwo has any good, really good ledge options besides teleport. Yeah. Nice Cancel Shadow Claw. Crouch cancels at 75 and goes in. Ooh, I, I think, I think he should have gone. It. He was thinking about it. Yeah. He, the thing is, he short hops instead of like moving forward. I think he oh, needed to move forward a little bit to get it. You need to get it, get up attack. It's so good for beating out options. You really got to respect that. Nice forward air into the uh, solar beam. That's actually. Uh, from what I said, actually pretty hard to get, um, unless the person is just DI'ing wrong. Good Shadow Claw. Alright, Frozen's just gotta be... Ooh, Frozen's gotta be careful, like... Honestly, like, at this point, he could just kinda, like, stay back and... Try to force Ivy Sword to approach. Yeah, that's kind of what he was doing until yeah. right there. He was kind of just retreating uh -huh. back to middle. He's gonna be looking for anything to kill off the top here. Forward air, up throw. All work. Ooh. Yeah, he's getting a little patient. I'd like him to play a little slower here. He doesn't have to, like. Ooh, this is scary. He's racking on a lot of percent. And he's off stage. Oh, is that gonna do it? Wow, is it? Wow! Game. Good comeback from Machiavelli. Yeah, Frozen was reaching a bit too much there, trying to do things like forward air our shield stuff that I don't think he would normally go for, but he really just wanted to put it in. Yeah. That's All what right. happens. We're gonna be hopping off. Uh, you guys are gonna be joined by our boy N Diaz and Cloudburst. Um, I hope you guys enjoy. Hey! Hello! So this is Cloudburst. I'm from Arizona. This is Diaz. I'm from Alberta, Canada. Alberta, oh, extreme Canada. close ups. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> we got like equal like camera space. It's yep. Good. It's good. You're gonna come a little closer? Should I go with? Um, yeah, sure. Look, there. I'm in line we with my our, name. our little nest of cords. Yes. Very crowded area. Yeah. Hope my peach tea my doesn't head. spill. Yeah, you, you're water. a water guy. I just bought a peach tea. I had okay. lemon yesterday. This Primo water. Lipton iced tea. Are we sponsored water. for both Primo water and Lipton, Lipton. iced tea? It's pretty good stuff. It looks like we're going to be commentating <laughs> so so luck. Uh, hey, Sosa. Uh, this is a loser's match. Sosa is warming up against <laughs> three computers. Oh, man. Is he doing like a, a challenge? Yeah, you can tell because he got the heart on it. Yeah, because so he's, so he's got an ally. You like, can do yeah. this cannon. Oh, oh, that Wario back throw really good. You uh, move like distance as it's happening, getting him closer to the blast zone. 
Giant oh, he's doing story mode. Oh, geez. All right. Okay. Giant Yoshi. What's he going to do? Oh, he's channeling his... Uh, oh, okay. I, I thought he was one of the monkeys. <laughs> foot sword. Oh, no. Yeah, foot sword. Oh. Uh, so you're too good. I feel like you can still footstool Giant Yoshi. You can. Probably. Just only out of his... Uh, you know, his Ready? individual Go. jump. Where would it put your footstool animation? You'd be like, I in his head. no idea. He should turn on debug mode. He's so like, see how, like, collision boxes like, are affected. Because if it's still in, like, the center, like, a, regu a regular sized Yoshi that's, like, permanently mushroomed, I don't know. That'd be weird. Yeah, that'd I've be never, weird. Now I want to, like, mess around with items in debug mode yeah, and, like, check like, out what happens. I think, I think like the mushroom would, like, affect your collision more. boxes. Yeah, I would hope that it would. Yeah. Ready? Go! There we oh, go. Oh, wow. It's a cozy. He's up tilt. Okay. Ooh. So it's a really <laughs> smart player recognizing that his up tilt <laughs> is one-shotting these little Marths. <laughs> Poor Marth. All right, there's, an, uh, there's a Pokeball oh. on the field. He, he wanted so it. Watch him lose. Like, <laughs> that Marth just z caught his, his drop Pokeball. Okay, we've got Meowth going. So it's uh, outplayed. The Marth yeah. round is getting him. Oh, solid F smash. Nice back there. <laughs> Alright, that up throw really okay. coming in okay. clutch for so so. Alright, we now have a target smash. Ready? Go! Okay, let's see if he uses that Deku nut. He does he okay, he has the Deku nut. Alright, he gets it. Doesn't uh, use the smart bomb. I feel like uh, in top yeah, you know, competitive target smash play that the Oh I, is I'm he going for those long bombs? I'm actually not sure if they use the smart bomb. Alright, catching items. He's doing okay. Uh, I, it really doesn't seem like Sosa's the world oh, record holder at all. That's going to be a good amount of damage. Oh, this is the tech. Yeah. Forward tilt to finish it off. Very very well played. Very well played. This is some great live action commentary of just story mode. Ready? Go! Oh, eats an up smash. <laughs> Sosa, footstool DDD! Oh, he really needs to. Oh, is the DDD? Okay, the DDD makes it. I think he's going for the footstool. I think he's. No. Okay, all right. Takes it with that shoulder bash. Okay, we got luck coming on stage. There he is. Right, we do have luck on stage. Uh, Sosa Ooh, might uh, exit. Ah, uh, okay. All right. That was good. That's yeah, good. That was good. Yeah. Solid, solid play from Sosa. Um, yeah. Those poor Marths. <laughs> that was. He just killed them all. That was like a tiny genocide of Marths. <laughs> That was terrible. They're, the entire Marth nation is they, gone. They like they died immediately after they were born. Yep. Yep. It's a Marth born. He also, just they're appears. just falling from the sky like <laughs> dudes. Just yeah. <laughs> Certainly interesting weather in Castle Siege. Yes. I've actually never played a Fire Emblem game. I should. Like, have you played them? Yeah. Yeah. They're okay. I uh, I think I played one for. I don't remember what console. It's just turn based. It's like a grid like system with like a climate, RPG. yeah, mm -hmm. or like with a terrain. You move your characters around. Permadeath. Yeah. Oh yeah. So yeah, you get yeah, like ten characters. Up, you yeah. lose one. It's like, well, see you next run. And then there was nine. Yeah. Or like you get characters that feel useless. You're like, you're a thirteen year old kid, and I can't give you a sword. Stand in the back. <laughs> <laughs> like you have to use them. Yeah, you have to move them around every Why round. Why not make them a like a a human shield? <laughs> <laughs> he dies in one hit. You're like, oh fuck. Is he important? I, I couldn't tell you. I don't remember. There's a lot of dialogue. There's like hundreds of hours of dialogue that you're just like, um, okay. Uh, so if like you're not like a big like, and if you're not into the story, maybe avoid Fire Emblem games. Okay. Oh. Look up speedruns of it. They're really like just like item management, like really dry. Okay. I watched a speedrun of Oblivion the other day. Yeah. Oh, it is nuts. Like, um, basically, oh yeah. there's like an item replication strategy, like in the menus, and like you have to constantly keep yourself at like eight skooma or something. Yeah. So, so you can just like sprint across the map. Skyrim has neat collision physics. Um, there's a it never the Skyrim never knows exactly where you are. It approximates you to a sector. So there's a glitch where like you um, you smack yourself into a wall with a plate, and then it goes, okay, you collided with a plate. Where are you now? And it approximates you behind the wall you smacked yourself into. So you're like, what? you like, well, no, it is. You're holding a plate and then you let go of it right as you run into a wall and you've just phased through the wall. So you have to collect like a pocket full of plates so you can run through walls. <laughs> oh my god, I need to, I'm gonna yeah. look that up tonight. That's a beautiful thing. That yeah. sounds incredible. 
does it have some fancy name? Like, oh yeah, and then he like, yeah, well, it must, yeah, like, like plate, plate phasing. I was gonna say plate phasing. <laughs> yeah, he plate phased through the wall, or like plate surfing. Oh yeah, I wish I had chat here. Yeah, that'd be cool to interact. With hey, with all the folks in chat, thanks for tuning in. Okay, so we're uh, we're headed to Eastad. <laughs>